Hello! Man, I am glad to see you because I've been getting a bit crazy here on my own at home. Maybe you're feeling a bit the same too, missing getting together with your church family. But one thing that I've been reminded of and really encouraged by is to be reminded actually that the heart of Beacon Church is people like you and like me stuck behind doors like this. And yet the reality is that God is still moving and we're still able to build relationships and do mission and discipleship and tell people that we care about them and that God cares about them too. And there's all sorts of these stories from people just like us behind doors just like these. So why don't you come along with me and let's discover some of the stories from Beacon Church. Oh, hello, hello. Chrissy. That's, you still have wet hair. that's really funny. I'm so glad you popped round. That's really good. Uh, Rob, have you got the cards? I'd love to tell Chrissy. We've got some really good news oh, yeah, about yeah. Christmas, okay, you know, with the neighbours. Okay, How about that? So... Okay. Makes more sense if we show you the mm -hmm. cards and explain That's a bit cool. further. So um, what we decided to do, we decided that it's been a bit pants, hasn't it, really, the past sort of 12 months. So we thought, especially with Christmas, horrendous, really. You know, you, you really want to make it special. How can you do it? So we got together, didn't we? And we were like chatting about it and um, came up with the idea of just, there's a lot of neighbours, lived here for 13 years. We don't, don't know a lot of them, do we? Don't talk, to, them. don't talk to them, like, golly. Except for... Um, you know, the immediate Media ones. Numbers. So um, my dad is great at making cards and they made a lovely card for us, mum and dad, oh, in their 80s, really bless them. So I said, dad, I don't suppose you could make a personalised card for us, you know, nice pictures of on the front and then a nice verse inside, all about the birth of Jesus and what Christmas is really about, you know. And then I said to Rob, I said, I think I've got to personalise it. Yeah. And uh, then we came up with the idea of let's put a bar of chocolate in because everyone likes, you know, a bit of cu big bar of Cadbury's Dairy Milk. But you wrote a message in there, I did. I put a message in. And the message was basically saying, as it is, you know, um, it's been a challenging time with COVID and we just want to make this Christmas yeah. extra special. And um, well, there. these were the responses we've got back, actually. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. 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 And so want to make a Christmas extra special and, and just said, you know, uh, just want to let you know we care. We're here for you and uh, hope you enjoy your chocolate. So a we didn't. A neighbours you went to. They actually stayed talking with us, didn't they? Yeah, and they, ca talk. they came out chatting. A couple chatting. have been living here 20 years, and they didn't, they didn't even know us, did yeah, they? Yeah, and that was Gary, Gary Window Cleaner, Gary around the corner, mm -hmm. and, and Max, his wife. Um, we just stopped outside chatting, and it was just so, so yeah, lovely. Yeah. And then there was a lady just um, further up over the road there. She came out, she got children, and she was like, why are you doing this? Why? You know. And we just said, look, we just want to be good neighbours, we just want to be friendly, explain the reasons why. Anyway, what she did then, she sent a thank you card, came through the post, so that was the first one. And um, I've got a note on the other side of this one. This is an interesting one because this is an after Christmas. We're heading to like, you know, 31st of December. Doorbell rings, Josh. Don't even know Josh, oh, never right, met yeah. him. So Josh has been down in, in Gloucester, early 20s, early 20s, moved into the area, new chappy. So he's at number 26. He said, um, I just want to say thank you. I just moved in before lockdown, don't know anybody. He said, I got back, card on the mat with the chocolate. I just want to say thank you. It's just made me feel welcome and, you know, what a lovely, you know, place to live to be. It's open up an avenue, really, yeah. because living here so long, you, you can get... You can live in a place such a long time and not know your neighbours at all. And especially with COVID, yeah. it's the one time where you can be detached. Um, it's a time where people are isolated, disconnected, and it's like, who cares? Mm -hmm. And I really felt for the people who's isolated, who's on their own, who is thinking, well, does anybody care around here? And that's where the heart was, wasn't it? We thought we've got to do something, but stay COVID friendly. So that was it. Get on those doorsteps. Yeah, we did all this because we wanted our neighbours to know that we care and we have a God who cares and we wanted to share him. And it's just a, an avenue that we've, that's been open for us now and we hopefully can continue the, you know, the relationship. Yeah. yeah, so we wanted to do all this so people knew who Jill and Rob were because at Ch uh, Beacon Church, this is who we are. <laughs> 